Speaking to Cam Viola manager Brad Wellman following today's 3-2 victory against Bognor Regis. Brad, considering we were behind twice, then finished the game with 10 men, you've got to be pleased with that. Yeah, really pleased, really pleased. I think, like I said to you last week there, we've watched Bognor and they're a good team. Um, you know, they come straight out, scored four minutes into the game. Uh, they were neat and tidy from the start. You could see how they set out. Um, and I thought we weathered the storm quite well after that and we got... Not a lucky goal. Evs, Evs has done well to, to go out the full base. He took a shot, he took a slight deflection. But to come in at 1 1, we was happy. We, we changed a few things because we felt we needed to combat their threat and then gave away a, a silly goal four minutes into the second half. And then that's going to test your character. Um, but I thought we, we had the character that we needed. We got back into it and Evs was, was struggling a little bit um, just with a bit of fatigue. He's got a slight little knock on his knee. Um, and, and he was always aiming to come off 15 minutes into the second half, but he, he goes and gets another one and or comes out of the back post with a headed set of Sachi. So, um, you know, the character we showed to dig deep to see the game out and the whole squad was was fantastic. And it's, it's, it's a massive three points for us, especially given where we both are in the league alongside each other. I know it's early days, but it's, it's a big three points for us there. Frustrating to go behind early on in the first half and then again in the second half... What did you make of that? Was that annoying for you? Yeah, it's frustrating because, you know, you sort of set out a game plan and then it gets disrupted three, four minutes into the half, both halves. Um, so it kind of throws it out the window and you've got to go again. Um, thankfully, we've got a group of boys that are resilient, that, that, that have that grit and determination. And uh, I think it's just the manner in which we gave up the goals. Um, it's just poor little lapses in, in concentration. The first one, don't get me wrong, their movement's good, their ability to pass the ball's good, and they've carved us open. Um, but the second one's a, a, a free kick, and the guy's unmarked in the six-yard box. That's, that's not acceptable, and the boys know that, and, and that's something we just look back on and make sure it don't happen again. So, game could have changed towards the end as Bradley Satch got sent off. How happy were you with the way we responded? Still got at them. Could have possibly even gone and killed the game towards the end as well. How pleased were you with the character we saw to see the game out? Really pleased because I think in, in the past we've probably been capable, uh, not been capable of doing that. Um, and I thought we worked hard as a collective group when we made the... The switches to when we was in front, it's easy to make the switches we made to 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 get the energy back into the the areas of the pitch where we thought they were going to be dangerous. And I thought Sachi was was great all game. And he's he just right before that he got left. Someone caught him with an elbow, which I don't think the ref saw. And and I think it's just frustration that was right in front of us. I don't think he's really caught the guy, but to put yourself in that situation to then give the the ref an easy chance when you've just been abusing the ref sort of thing I was disappointed in that but the boys dug deep and uh, Danny Parrish run and run and run and I think that it it shows uh, how much it meant to them at the end when you get over the line and you see them it's, it's a big big three points and it was it was probably built on hard work and determination if you want the truth so Bradley Satch, obviously, with a straight red card, he will miss a few games. Do you have concerns about perhaps a lack of an out and out striker in his absence? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. He's put us in a, a an awkward situation, really. Um, you know, we've got um, Ronto's missing for four games as well because he's going back to Australia because he's best man at his mate's wedding. So it all coincides. So we're going to have to we're going to have to do something. We're going to have to try and get someone in to, uh, to do that. Although this year when, when Evs and uh, Parrish have played at front as a two, we've scored five goals in one game and we was quite prolific in another game. So they can play in a two, so I'm not overly worried. Um, but I do think that the way Brad's been playing up front, he's been giving us that platform to play and he's that sort of old-fashioned number nine who sort of tries to bully the centre-halves. I think it's been effective for us and it's allowed Evs and Parrish to get into opportunities. So I definitely need to look at it this weekend. We, we need to do something to, to strengthen the squad because we've got players missing. So... so uh, Brief break from league action next weekend as we host Bracknell in the FA Trophy. Um, looking forward to the to, to not having a league game, or would you consider him in decent form? Would you have ideally liked another league game to carry on climbing that table? It's a tough one because you 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 want to continue with your league, especially when you're in was it now six games um, and we're in a good position from a league standpoint. But the cups are nice. Do you know what I mean? They're nice to play in. It was disappointing to go at the FA Cup early and in the fashion we did. Um, I think that 
you know, they're, they're a good team coming down next week, so it's not an easy game. I mean, they, they want their league last year with 96 points and only conceded 12 goals all year. So it's going to be a tough ask. But it, it further down the line, that distraction of the cup helps you. And I think that we need to we need to stay in the cup and it'll be a game we take seriously and, and, and we try and do the, the right thing. And it's a cup that Canvey have won in the past. So it's a, it's a prestigious cup. And realistically, at this level, as we've seen, I think, two years ago when Ornchurch won it and Conkle got to the final, it's, it's a realistic chance of, of going deep in the competition and, and potentially winning it like we've done in the past. So we're definitely, it's a cup we look forward to and, and we'll definitely try and stay in it. Nice one. Thank you, Brad. Cheers, Simon.